How is it more risky for women out there on the street? Well, like I in what it's, ways? It's risky for both. Yeah, it's ri it's what risky. It? I just said I can run just as fast. <laughs> well, and Hannah brings up a good point because there is physical risk. There's there um, to to both men and women. Um, there's there's personal risk. There are a lot of uh, the, the stakes are very high, and there's a high cost potentially to pay legally, um, personally, uh, physically. Um, but it is a place where I feel people are compelled to express themselves, and and um, I think that's one of the exciting things for me in in watching the street. And it's how I've met and and had the opportunity to become friends with some people like Andrea. Well, I'm, I was going to ask Andrea, aka Random Act on, on the street, is her name. Um, recently had an experience that uh, you might want to talk about. So. Um, I guess it's it's the conversation has changed to risk and women on the street with risk, and um, so I drove around the country and painted giant flowers on poor lease or abandoned buildings, and uh, as I was about ready to go, a lot of people were very worried about me driving around the country on my own with two dogs and how crazy that was, and my answer was, you know. We should know if we live in a country where women aren't safe. These are my curiosity for driving around the country was to see the country, to know the people, as well as to bring um, enlightenment to them, or, or let's say to uplift them with the giant flowers in places that you generally wouldn't expect. So <clears throat> two things happened to me on the street um, with over over 250 flowers, I guess. Um, one happened in Detroit and I had just finished painting on the 4th of July in 2010 and um, I had just put the paints inside the car and uh, somebody came around, it was like 102 degrees in the afternoon and some man came around and uh, I had just locked the door because I sort of saw him coming and my dog saved me as he tried to get into the car. The dogs went crazy and he was like, no. Nah. I don't mess with no dogs. So that was my first really bad experience. It scared me to death. I was warned about Detroit, and I, I was painting in the middle of the day. I didn't think to worry about it in that way. Um, so the second thing happened also in the middle of the day. It was on uh, La Brea, just below Olympic. I was painting a giant flower, and um, some people stopped. I thought it was fine. People stop all the time, take pictures. But in this case, these people um, thought they should take my, the keys to my car, and I got into a struggle with them, was punched in the face, dragged down the street, and eventually arrested. It was a $10,000. You were arrested? I was arrested. <laughs> and what about them? They still have not been arrested. <laughs> so um, it turns out, I thought, I thought they were crackheads. It turns out that they own the building. So, um, this was here on La Brea, like a La Brea and Olympic. So, um, being compelled to like uplift, and I thought it, six years of doing it, I thought that um, if you know, it was always, uh, I always had the intention of uplifting. I was told that intention was a very important part of uh, whether you would get prosecuted or not. Um, they didn't even look. They didn't care. All they cared about was these people. They didn't care that I was nonprofit for doing this. They didn't. They didn't look at any evidence. Had I had another ten thousand dollars to go forward to go to trial, then somebody would have found out about it. But but nobody cares. So um, but then so that's why I don't pay on the street anymore. But that said, I would say that the street is sort of the great equalizer. Like anyone. Can get out there and do art. Have any of you guys who create work on the street experienced? I mean, graffiti art, especially, is so traditionally a male driven, you know, the genesis of it and how it started, and it's so turf like. I mean, graffiti at its nature is about marking territory. Have you guys ever had any experience like, what's your experience with other male artists on the street? Oh, well, um, I was just going to say that. Um, because I don't really have a problem with it so much. Um, and what I've sort of found in myself is like, I've always been a girl who 
grew up playing sports, you know, like I liked, I have two brothers and I feel like doing murals is sort of similar in my mind. It's like very physical, you know, it's a lot of like adrenaline, you're, you're lifting heavy things, you're using ladders, but like totally capable of doing all of that. And um, I have mostly, I'd say mostly male street artist friends, but I think that's just because I haven't met, you know, in this show I've met other female artists, uh, street artists which is great, and I, you know, I don't think it means that there are less of them, but for me, I, I like the physicalness of it, and then I also like, um, I really don't mind when guys, when people, not guys, when people find out that I'm a woman and they think that I was a guy, I kind of think it's funny, like it's, I don't know, I paint gorillas, and they thought I was a dude, um, <laughs> and I really don't mind. That reminds me of that, um, in terms oh, yeah. of people think you mentioned something about people thinking that not sure if you were male or female and your work is pretty yeah. um, stark and kind of almost bold, se bold seemingly you know guns and sinking yeah. ships well it's, yeah when you it's paint, really light yeah <laughs> when you paint a lot of um, electric guitars and skulls and ships and uh, sinking ships sinking ships and knives and all of those things people tend to think that you're a man but I'm not <laughs> my daddy wore old spice <laughs> so I like ships. But you and, paint uh, with initials in your first name, right? I mean, I signed it Streety, so people, I guess, just assume that Streety sounds like, and that's my real last name. I'm not lame enough to make that up. I do do street art. I would never make that up. My father's last name is Streety. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I just, I guess I have a dark side, and that's what I express in, in my art, but... I like music and I like electric guitars, but yeah, I love it when people think that I'm a guy. I don't have any of these problems, so I really am not going to have a lot to say because I'm never judged. They just they think that I'm a dude, and I show up and they're like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Like, oh, all right. 